The Finnish Spitz is a dog breed famous for its charming, fox-like appearance as well as for its love for children. Yet there is so much more to adore about this breed. Friendly, playful, home-loving, and loyal, the Finnish Spitz is not considered aggressive but tends to bark at anything, especially when outside. It also is best suited for a cooler climate. They are well known as the superb hunting dogs, yet their calm demeanor and intelligence also makes them excellent companions. In today's video, we'll show you 10 interesting facts about these dogs that will surely leave you amazed. Fact number one, they are one of the oldest breeds. The Finnish Spitz has been around for an incredibly long time. They were brought from Russia by the Finno-Ugrian people who migrated several thousand years ago. These tribes used the dogs primarily as all-purpose hunting dogs. And because they were so isolated, the Finnish Spitz as a breed developed with little influence from other breeds. Later, two sportsmen from Helsinki observed the dogs in action and returned to Finland with the best specimens they could find to continue the breed. They were bred to be bird and squirrel hunting dogs, and today, they are the national dog of Finland. Fact number two, they almost went extinct. As we mentioned, the Finnish Spitz was for a long time effectively a purebred because it was isolated from other dog breeds. However, improved transportation methods that developed in the 19th century brought more dogs of different breeds via new train networks to Scandinavia. And the Finnish Spitz was crossbred with so many others that eventually there was almost no purebreds left by 1880. It was then that two Finnish hunters made it their mission to save them. These men named Hugo Sandberg and Hugo Ruse realized the significance of these amazing dogs and worked to save the breed. Hugo Sandberg wrote an article for an 1890 edition of the Sporting Magazine about these dogs he'd seen. His description was so complete and carefully worded that in 1892 when the Finnish Kennel Club recognized the breed, the first breed standard was based on his article. Sandberg was even a judge at the first Helsinki dog show in 1891. The breed was given the name Finnish Spitz in 1897. Hugo Roos played his part in preserving the breed by actively breeding Finnish Spitz for 30 years. He is credited with gathering the foundation dogs and pioneering the breed until the 1920s. Fact number three, they are the bane of squirrels. A long time ago, squirrel fur was used as currency in Finland. So a Finnish Spitz who would be very good at pointing squirrels was at this time a valuable hunting companion. Any that showed promise or instinct in this area was of course preferred in the breeding program. It's no wonder why even today Finnish Spitzes go mad whenever they find a squirrel. In fact, in Finland, the hunting ability of the dog is so valued that no Finnish Spitz may earn a confirmation championship without proving their hunting ability first. Fact number four, they're bark hunters. The way Finnish Spitz hunt is unique. They run ahead of the hunter until they find a bird, squirrel, or other prey. They then follow the creature until it settles in a tree and attracts the animal's attention by running back and forth under it, wagging its tail. It's thought that the animal is lulled into a false sense of security by the dog's movements. It is at this point that the Finnish Spitz will begin to bark softly at first and gradually get louder. This means that the hunted creature generally doesn't notice the human approaching because of the noise and movements of the dog. If the animal flees before the human hunter reaches it, the Finnish Spitz stops barking and will follow it until it stops moving. They will then start barking again. This is the reason these dogs are called bark pointers. It is an effective collaboration system between dogs and humans and one that has mostly stayed the same for over 2,000 years. If you are interested in more dog facts and want to learn more about other breeds and training, check out the description in some of our playlists. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel to discover more interesting facts about dogs in the future. Fact number five, Finland crowns a king barker. As you may have already realized by now, the Finnish Spitz is very talkative and relies on their bark for hunting. In Finland, there's actually a well-recognized barking competition every year that many Finnish Spitz compete in. Some of these dogs have been recorded barking at up to 160 times per minute. Yet, it's not just speed that matters. A competing dog must also prove that it can bark effectively while hunting before being crowned king. However, it's not a skill that neighbors with shared walls tend to appreciate. So apartment life is not a good fit for these dogs. Fact number six, they change color. The Finnish Spitz is famous for its fox-like red color, but these dogs actually have quite a lot of black in their coats when they are first born. The black usually fades completely after about two years. Some dogs may keep a black mark along their tail or have white markings on the tips of their toes and black hairs along the lip line. Eventually, they gain their signature red coat color, which ranges from pale honey to deep auburn. Because the breed's coloring includes shades of red and is never monochromatic, 
people have described it as having a finished spitz glow. Fact number seven, we don't know how many there are. This may seem strange, but since the Finnish Spitz dog breed is one of the most popular and is well known for being good with children, they have made their way from Finland to various parts of the world as great pets. Due to the vast distribution of this dog breed as a loving pet all across the globe, their population cannot be estimated, and hence, the total population count is currently unavailable. Safe to say, though, there are enough that the breed is not in any danger of disappearing anytime soon. Fact number eight, they have multiple names. The Finnish Spitz's Finnish name is Swoman Pitsikorva, which translates to Finnish cock-eared dog. As we mentioned earlier, they also used to be known as Finnish barking bird dogs. It is interesting to know that when the English first imported them across the North Sea, they called them Finsk Spets, which very quickly led to the nickname Finky, which is still used today. It actually was not until 1891 that the name was officially changed to Finnish Spitz. What's your favorite fact about the Finnish Spitz? Comment below this video and let us know. Fact number nine, they are made for the cold. The Finnish Spitz is a double-coated breed. They have short, soft, dense undercoats in a paler color and long, harsh, straight hairs on their outer coats. Their coats are stiffer and longer on their necks and back. Male dogs also have more profuse coats around their shoulders. This type of coat provides the best insulation in snowy environments and allows them to actually sleep outside during Finnish winters without an issue. Fact number 10. They're little wolves. That's right, despite their foxy look, recent DNA analysis done on dogs has found that the Finnish Spitz is one of just a handful of northern dog breeds that share DNA directly with the Tamar Wolf. This is a species that is genetically distinct from the Gray Wolf and has actually been extinct for several thousand years. If you remember our first fact, it was around this time that Central Russian tribes began using the Spitz as hunting dogs as they immigrated to Finland. A coincidence? Perhaps not. This DNA discovery has led scientists to now believe that dogs were domesticated far earlier than we originally thought. They may be significantly smaller than their wolfish ancestors, but the Finnish Spitz maintains that hunting instinct and a noble bearing that's hard not to love.